Today is one of those days where I'm just really tired. Ooh, I love the nap, the nap lines on my forehead. I really like how it's like kind of cold outside. Rip, just realized forgot to charge my phone last night. It's at 10%. What's up? My name is Sydney McGee. I make a video every day. This is my YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. And today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So I haven't done it in a while, but every Wednesday I make like a normal YouTuber video, just like a weekly video, and I post them on Wednesdays. So I asked you guys to comment on my pictures, any questions you have, because I've been, a, been getting a lot more subscribers, and you responded. So here we go. Let me answer your questions. What made you start a vlog channel? So originally I have always had a YouTube channel. I used to post on it like every once in a while, just really stupid videos. I even had a channel with my friends that we are never going to discuss and no one will ever find because you don't know what it's called. But the reason I wanted to start doing vlogging is because I always had like really funny Snapchat stories and my brother was like, hey, like why don't you just start vlogging? Like you basically vlog but on Snapchat. So you should just start it up. He showed me my inspiration, Casey Neistat, and then it all just went from there. Bought a camera and started it, and it's been a blast. It's been super fun. Basically the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, my next question is, what do you do if you tell people you're LDS and they just laugh? So this is like a question that I'm guessing someone who is also Mormon asked. Um, well, people don't usually laugh when I tell them I'm Mormon. I mean, maybe a little chuckle. I'm just like, okay. Like, it doesn't really affect me. I'm really confident and I believe enough in my religion that nothing anyone says will really bother me. How do you get your background music? So, I just go either on SoundCloud or just on YouTube and find, like, accounts with, like, not that many subscribers and they usually post, like, really good songs that are copyright free and you can also go to SoundCloud and just follow copyright free um, people and then they just have a bunch of good music. That's what I do. How often do you go to St. Louis? My cousins actually live in St. Louis so I go up there a couple times a year. I haven't been going up as much lately but maybe like once or twice. What's your favorite part about vlogging and why? So I'd say my favorite part about vlogging is the fact that I get to do something I love to do and I get to do it every single day. Like making videos has always been my passion but I never knew how to do it, what to do, like what kind of videos I should make and doing a video every day, one, forces me to make a video all the time so I'm getting better and better and better. And then two, I get to do it all the time, which makes me really, really happy. And then three, it gives me an idea of a video to make because I have to make one every day. So I'm constantly thinking of more ideas. It makes me more creative. It just does a lot for me. And it's just like what I love to do. And that's what I love about it. I also love that I get to share my opinions and I get to do all these things and I get to share them with you like right now as my life is happening and just thinking about showing my kids these when I'm older is really awesome too there's just a lot of really good things about vlogging what do you want to be when you grow up um I would love to just be a videographer uh, whether that's through YouTube or just growing up to have my own company or I don't know what the future has for me but making videos for sure what's your favorite activity besides vlogging um, besides like making videos in general, I really like to longboard, hammocking, going to the lake. But I'd say my favorite like activity is probably traveling because I just really love to see new places and like just not be home all the time. I don't know what it is, I just love to travel. Uh, this is like another LDS question. Do you go to seminary? If you do, do you go in the mornings? Yes, I go. I go every morning at like 6 in the morning as you see in my vlogs. What is a good cheap vlog camera and what editing program do you use? I, for my camera, use the Canon G7X. It's pretty cheap, like the Mark I is probably around four or $500, and then this one was around 700 I believe. So that's actually pretty cheap for a camera because this camera is like super nice, and honestly, I think it's like the ultimate like little vlog camera. I would definitely get one if you're planning on vlogging. And I use Final Cut Pro, which I just use it because my like school has a program and we all use Final Cut Pro there so I like get it for free and I've just always grown up using it because my brothers make videos too. But I've also heard that 
Premiere is really good. I know a lot of people that use Premiere. And then if you just want something free, iMovie, it works. Anything that can get you like editing works. That could be any animal. What animal would it be? Maybe an animal cracker. This has nothing to do with the Q&A or anything, but DJI just released a new drone and it's called a Mavic. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is so cool. It's about this big. It can fit in your pocket, kind of. It fits like in a backpack. The remote control is really small and it's only like a thousand dollars. And I've been wanting a drone for so long, so I'm really hoping that I can get it. So now that I answer your guys' questions, I was wondering if you could answer a question for me. Do you like my vlogs? when they're more like funny and me just like being hyper and crazy, which there will always be some of that in my vlogs because that's just how I am. Or do you like it better when I focus more on like a creative aspect and do more slow-mo and really like do that kind of stuff? Because I've done both all the time. I do both all the time, but I would like to focus more on one if it's something that you guys like. So just comment down below. Do you like more of a creative vlog or more of a outgoing like hyper vlog I guess so, like hyper or creative and if you like both just comment keep doing what you're doing well I think that is all the questions that I was asked so thank you so much for asking questions and the next time I do a Q&A will probably be when I start getting a lot more subscribers again how about we shoot for like 5,000 subscribers when I hit 5k I'll do another Q&A if you want another Q&A get your friends to subscribe if you're new make sure to subscribe that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys with a normal, regularly scheduled vlog tomorrow. Um, if you could be, oh, um, vlog camera, what is a good...